Hello, welcome back to JJ's Maker House. I'm Ginny, and today we're going to be making a different form of cake. I'm going to be making a brownie cookie stack cake. So with Swiss meringue in between. So we've got quite a lot to get through, so we're gonna get started. Uh, so my brownie recipe is, is 300 grams of caster sugar and 150 of light brown sugar. On top of that, I am going to add 195 grams of melted butter. I will write all this underneath, so don't worry if you're not getting this. It'll be in the description box. To that then, I've also got 60 ml of oil, which makes this really, really moist. I love to put oil in. And then I've got five eggs. There we go. I've also got a tablespoon of coffee. Really, really brings out the flavour there of the chocolate that I'm going to be putting in. And that's been um, liquid, liquided down. That's not words, is it? So <laughs> I put three tablespoons of boiled water and into that. So one tablespoon of coffee, three tablespoons of liquid. So that's gone in. Now I'm just going to give this a quick go round before I add my flour and my cocoa powder. So it's slopping around everywhere. But we're all right, it's not coming out. I've got my oven on 160 to 170 degrees on a fan assisted oven. So if you want to have that, if you haven't got a fan assisted oven, just pop it up to between 170 and 180 degrees. Right, that looks nice and combined. So now I'm going to add the flour. So in here I've got, I am reading this next to me just in case you wonder what I'm doing. Um, I have got half a teaspoon of salt, 150 grams of plain flour, and 90 grams of cocoa powder. Anyway, like I said, I'm gonna write this and put it underneath. And stand back. And then we're just gonna mix that up. This is so simple, this recipe. Woo! I'd put a tea towel over the top of that if I was you. Let me grab a tea towel, because that's going to happen again. One sec. Okay, let's try that again. Tea towel over the top, so that you don't get covered. Like I just did. Lovely, now it's catching it. Let this just go round until it's incorporated. Um, as soon as it's incorporated, we're going to stop it. We don't want to take it too far. There we are. And then we're going to add some chocolate. Now you need to add about 200 grams of chocolate chips to this. Your choice. I'm adding white because I like that difference in the colour. So I'm just going to pop mine in. But you can add dark chocolate chips, you can add um, milk chocolate chips. It really doesn't make any difference to you. Which one you use. Right, that's it. It's done. So now we're going to pop it into a tin. Now obviously for the purposes of this being a cake, I have got a round tin. So I'm just going to... I've lined the tin. I've lined the sides because obviously I want the sides to look quite nice on this, so I have lined the sides. Right. Let's take this out. I did make a complete mess there, didn't I? Obviously not very with it today. Scrape down the sides there, making sure you've got everything. Again, I've got a creaming paddle, so we didn't have to do a lot of scraping down. If you haven't, make sure that you do scrape down those sides. Right, that is all fully incorporated. I'm happy with that. Okay. And we're going to pour this in. I want quite a thick slice. So I'm using an 8 inch pan there. There we are. I'm perfectly happy with that. And then I've also got here a little 6 inch pan. And this is so I can have decoration for the top part. So I'm just going to pour the rest into this. Now I know I'm putting two different sizes into the oven, but with brownie, you can open the oven up midway. It's not making any difference. We've not got any raisin agents there, so that's not a worry, not to worry about that. Right, so we are going to put these into the oven um, for, this one will probably take between 35 and 40 minutes. So I'm going to check it to start with after about 20, because of this one and it's smaller. So I'll come back to you when we check them in the oven and let you know the whole process of what's going on there. So let's pop them in and I'll see you soon. Right, my brownies are cooked. They took about 28 minutes to cook. 
So they're lovely and soft and they're not gooey. You can, it's an easy brownie recipe this one because it's not that one where it's funny in the middle and you know it's a bit wet in the middle and not, it feels like a cake. So even though it's not cake. So that is completely ready. All we have to do now is have a lot of patience and let it cool. So I'm going to leave this alone now for around about two hours really is what I like to leave a brownie for and let it just do its thing. So we're going to get on with the next part of this. So let me get rid of these, put them on the side and we'll get on with the cookie. Right, it's cookie time. So I could do this in the mixer but I'm just going to show you that you can just do these cookies so simply uh, with just a bowl. Now this is going to make a giant cookie. You can make regular cookies with my mixture here. If you want to do that I'll add just regular cookie um, measurements and timings in the oven um, in the box underneath. So let's get started. I'm reading this recipe by the way um, because I'll just forget. Right then so I've got my melted butter 210 grams of unsalted butter. I like to control my own salt that I put in, so that's why I use unsalted. And then in goes the sugar. So with this, what did I use? I used 100 grams of caster sugar and 200 grams of light brown sugar. And that all goes in there. And we're going to give that a little stir up, and because it's melted, it's all going to dissolve quite easily. That's why we're not trying to um, get air into this or anything, so just in a bowl is easy enough. Sometimes it's quite nice just to go back to basics. Right then, next I'm going to add in two teaspoons of vanilla, one egg, large egg, Give all that a bit of a stir around, make sure all that's incorporated. There we go, that's all in. And now comes the dry. So in here I have got, let's have a look, I have 250 grams of plain flour, a quarter teaspoon of bicarb, a quarter teaspoon of baking powder, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and I've also added, which I really like in my cookies, it makes them so fluffy, a tablespoon of corn flour. So, in all that goes, and then we're just going to stir it in. Right, I just take it from the middle, just keep going in the middle and it seems to drag it in. You'll have your own ways of doing this. There we go. Right. And then we've got the chocolate to add. Now you need about 200 grams of chocolate chips to go into this. Um, and that's your choice then. Whether you add white chocolate, Milk chocolate, dark chocolate, really makes no difference, it's just your preference. I am using today milk chocolate because I've used white in the cookie, so I didn't want to add white again. So, right, there we go, look how easy that was. So that's mixed. In these go as well. Now a final mix up and stir around. Giving our arms a little bit of a workout here. There we go. Right. And then, I'm going to put these into tins. So obviously I've used the same size tins as my brownie. So I'm going to have to try and get this half and half. You can measure it if you like. So I'm going to put that in there. And then, oh, I think I've got this one here, there we are, making sure you get it all out, there we go. I completely lined these tins um, just because I want it to come out easily, even though they are non-stick, um, even though everything says non-stick, I never quite believe it. So it's scooting around, so I'm holding on to the uh, parchment underneath which is going to be hard now. There we go. And just moving this around and trying to make it as uniform and flat as possible. There we go. Get a drag around there. Brilliant. And there is our cookie. Now I'll do the other one in a second. They go, in, go into the oven 
um, on a 170 degrees on my fan. If you have got a non-fan assisted oven, 180, and then we're going to pop them in, and I think they're going to take around about 18 to 25 minutes. I will tell you um, how long it actually takes on my oven as soon as I get them out. So I will see you shortly. Right, it's cookie time. Look at those. Absolutely lovely. Right, so I'm gonna let this all set. Okay, so I've got my brownie here, I've got my cookies here. I'm going to put a really gorgeous decaton uh, Swiss meringue, lost my words, Swiss meringue with this. The link for the Swiss meringue I will pop underneath in the description box along with everything else. So well, let's cool these down and we'll come back. Right, here we go, we're ready to assemble. Look at that, yum. Okay, right, we have our brownie. My smaller brownie, I took out a lot earlier. If you do want, just to let you know, and I've cut around the outside so you can see. This is gooeyer. So I let I took my brownie, the small brownie out, around about three or four minutes earlier than this one, and you could feel the top and it was still gooey. Now it still is, and this will take the full two hours to come together. So if you want a gooeyer brownie, just take it out that little bit earlier, leave it on the side, but do not touch it. So I've cut my bits that I want around the outside and left that for my kids because they love gooey gooey brownie. Right, but for this one, I wanted this style. Right, I've got a cake board, something to put it on. Um, I've just got a decorated one, you're not going to see it anyway. So I'm going to pick up my, um, which one shall I use? The one that's the most, this one. No, this one. There we are. On it goes. Right, now I've made decisions. There we are. Put this over. Make sure everything is completely fully um, cool before we start this. Right, I've got my Swiss meringue chocolate buttercream up. The link for this I will put in the description box. And then I'm just going to go all the way around and add this lovely buttercream. I wanted to use the Swiss meringue with this one because it's so light and I really wanted that lightness um, to go with this. Now this is heavy so make sure that you don't go too close to the edges because it's going to push it all out. Right, let's go all the way around. Now this would be ideal for those that don't really like um, traditional cake. You could do this as a birthday cake, do this as a treat, you could do it with red velvet cookies or just add some red um, food colouring. Do it for Valentine's Day. There we go. This way we know we've got an even amount of the buttercream all the way through as well. There we go. Doesn't that look lovely? Right, here we go. On comes our brownie. I'm just going to pop him on the top there. Lovely. Right. It didn't quite do what I thought it was going to do, so that's good. So we're just going to move it over slightly. And then we're going to do the very same thing again. Refilled. So back to the front. And we're just going to do the very same all the way around Ooh, on this one. So I'll carry on and come back to you because you don't need to watch me doing this. Done again. On with the last cookie. And give that a push so that again you can see those bits there. Oh god that looks so nice. Oh, I've got a little chocolate chip that's fallen. I don't know that. There we go. Right then and then for the top we're just going to take some of this brownie, so we're just going to put some of this in even marks around the top. There we go. And then take this brownie here, grab a knife, like a bit big, and then we're going to take, let's 
some sections of brownie. Push them into the tops there. Make sure everything goes the same way. Brown is so nice, it's like gooey towards the inside. There we are. And we've got lovely little bits there that we can carry on eating as we go, if you will. is you could put some icing sugar over the top which is what I'm going to do I'm just going to sprinkle over some icing sugar and then we have our cake so I'm just going to grab my icing sugar and come back and we'll finish this off we've got the smallest little bit of icing sugar and we're just going to tap that all around the sides there And there we go, we are finished. So this was my cookie brownie cake stack, not quite sure what to call it, with a chocolate Swiss meringue centre. So I hope you really enjoyed this. I hope you like it and it was easy enough to follow and I will see you again soon. Take care, bye bye.